Ali Riza is a champion in triathlon. He likes to go training around the fabulous landscapes of Cappadocia. I love Cappadocia so much that I can train for hours here. I swim, run, and ride a bike. Training in the atmosphere of Cappadocia is a real privilege. When I run for an hour, I want to run for longer. It's such a great place. Time flies. 5 a.m. in the morning, the sun rises. This is the time that Ali Risa has chosen to go up in a hot air balloon. We're about to fly up above Cappadocia and I'm so thrilled. This is our balloon. I don't know how high we're going to fly, but we'll know in a few seconds. I'm sure Cappadocia will be wonderful. It's hot, very hot. And here goes, Ali Risa is up and away. You'll get an incredible panorama of this wonderful land. Actually, when I was a child, I was scared of looking down off the balcony. But then I thought, I, I can't be scared of heights. I then started to train on the balcony. And finally, I made my first parachute jump in Canada in 2006. I jumped from two and a half miles up and made a base jump from planes. Now I'm flying above Cappadocia. It's truly an incredible feeling being high in the sky like birds. There's no sound up here, only the sound of the propane. It's marvelous. Well, Cappadocia may offer a stunning view seen from up above, but it also has many treasures buried deep underground. Why did people build and live in these underground cities? These places were built in order to defend against invaders. Derin Kuyu is one of them. It's awesome, there are labyrinths down here. Provision rooms were built, air drain traps, ladders, caverns, it's a, a real playground. I would have loved that when I was a kid. Well, there are some open rooms here, open spaces, a bridge. It's awesome. The city goes deep underground with eight stories beneath the earth, reaching a depth of more than 260 feet. Air vents dug into the wall. Here we reach almost 260 feet underground. This is the last floor. There's a cemetery here, and here at the eighth floor, you can see a grave. We visited no more than 10% of this underground city. I do hope one day they'll open the rest of the place up to the public, and we'll be back again for another adventure.